Now in this session we will see the percentage PYQ. As I already told you, like sometimes we have concept of ration proportion in that percentage question, so, but doesn't matter. We already done that. In a group of persons, 70% of the person are male, 30% are married. So here if 70% are male, first thing is 30% female. See here in UPSC or in competitive exam till date, they consider only two gender, male, female. Maybe in future they start considering uh, other gender as well. But it is in build if they say 70% male, it means 30% female we have to take. Now here 30% of the person are married. So the married 30%. Even here also if they talk about married, it means the remaining are single. UPSC doesn't care about the living relationship, committed one and all, either married or single, 70% single. We have to take single, single or married, that's it. Now here, two-seventh of the male are married. I assume total person 100. So how many male are there? 70. How many female are there? 30. Step number one. Two-seventh of the male are married into 70. So it means 20 male are married. Out of this 30 married person, 20 are male. It means remaining 10 female married. Step number two. Two-seventh of the male are married. Total male 70. Two by seven into 70. So 20 male are married. Out of 30, 20 male are married. 10 female. Total number of female 30, out of 30, 10 are married. Step number 3, so 20 are single. So how many female single? 20 out of total 30. 20 by 30 means 2 third, 2 by 3. So answer D. Question number 1, answer D. Question number 2. The tank full petrol in our own motorcycle lasts for 10 days. If we start using 25% more, direct shortcut, 25% increase, how many days will the tank full petrol last? 25% increase in the consumption will have an effect of 25% increase will be compensated by 20% decrease. So 20% decrease in the number of days, 20% of 10 is 2. So now that tank, full tank will last for only 8 days. So answer is 8 days. Direct shortcut, 25% increase. Compensated by 20% decrease. So now 2 days less instead of 10, 8 days. Answer D. Question number 2, answer D. Question number 3, lengthy but not difficult. A and B decide to travel from place X to place Y by bus. A has rupees 10 with him and he find that it is 80% of the bus fare for 2 person. So 80% of total bus fare is rupees 10. B find that he has rupees 3 with him and hand it over to A. In this context, which one of the following statement correct? Only the thing we have to find what is the total bus fare required for 2 person. 80 percent of the total bus fare is 10. 80 percent is 4 by 5 into total bus fare is 10. So we will solve for total bus fare. Total bus fare will be 10 into 5 by 4. So it is 50 by 4 means 12.5. So actually they need 12.5 rupees to travel from place X to place Y. But A has only 10. B find that he has 3 rupees with him and hand over to A. So now A has 30 rupees. Step number 1, 80% of total bus fare is 10 rupees. 4 by 5, total bus fare 10, total bus fare 10 into 5 by 4, 12.5. B has 3 rupees, so 13. They need 12.5, they have 13. So 50 paisa will be left. After buying the two ticket, A will be left with 50 paisa. So they can take the mukli, chips, whatever they want. Jobi 50 paisa me hai. Ya pudia. Which pudia I am talking about? You know. C is the answer. Right. Question number four. In a test, a candidate attempted only eight question and secured 50% marks in each of the question. I assume let one question one marks. I attempted eight question. 
फिफ्टी परसेंट मार्क्स इन ईच ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मीन्स हाफ 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 इन ईच क्वेश्चन सो इट मीन्स माई मार्क्स आर फोर इफ यू ऑप्टेन ए टोटल ऑफ फोर्टी परसेंट इन द टेस्ट एंड ऑल द क्वेश्चन इन टेस्ट कैरिड इक्वल मार्क्स हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन वर देयर इन द टेस्ट सी हेयर आई attempted only eight question total number of question x so this four is 40% of x so we will get to i repeat one question one marks eight question i get 50 50% marks means my marks are four and this four is 40% of the total number of questions so 40% of x is equal to four my four marks are 40% of this so 4 by 10 x 4 4 cancel take 10 other side x is 10 so number of question there were 10 answer is 10 or you can use answer options first i try with 8 if total question 8 okay and i attempted 8 question my marks are 4 so overall my marks 50% so but according to question my overall marks has to be 40% not 50% then i take 10 number of question 10 out of that 8 i have attempted where i get 50 50% 50 marks means my score 4 is this 4 is 40% of total 10 yes it is 40% and according to question he obtained a total of 40% in test so i obtained 40% in that total in that test so it means there were 10 question out of that i attempted 8 and each question i get 50 50% marks so here answer is b question number 4 answer is b question number 5 a person order five pair of black socks and some pair of brown five pair of black and x pair of brown the price of the black pair was 3 rupees black rupees 3 and that of the brown thrice that of brown sorry if i assume brown is rupees 1 i assume let brown is rupees 1 then black will be 3 thrice as compared to brown while preparing the bill bill clerk interchange the number of black and brown pair by mistake which increase the bill by 100% now the bill become double what was the number of pair of brown socks in original order we have to find what is value of x there are two equation we get here i assume brown socks 1 1 rupees so x black socks 3 3 rupees so here 5 into 3 15 so my bill has to be actually 15 plus x but that fellow he has interchanged he has taken x black socks pair and the five brown so it is 1 1 rupee it is 3 3 rupees the mistake he has done rather than five black he has taken five brown rather than x brown he has taken x black so 3x plus 5 now this new bill is double is 100% more it double of this i repeat you assume let brown socks cost rupees 1 then black will cost 3 5 black x brown x into 1 5 into 3 so it is 15 plus x is the original bill but that interchange x black 5 brown so 3x plus 5 now here it is 100% increase means double so this 3x plus 5 will be double of this 15 plus x one equation one variable you can solve for x this is 3x plus 5 Is equal to 30 plus 2x. You take 2x this side, 5 this side. So 3x minus 2x is x. 30 minus 5 is 25. So it means in the original order there were 25 brown socks. I repeat. I assume let brown cost rupees one, black cost three. My actual order is five black, x brown. So one rupees, three rupees, 15 plus x. My actual bill. But now here interchange x black 5 brown that become 3x plus 5 so now it is double 100% increase in the bill means double double of this 
so double of this solve for x 25 that is the answer question number 5 answer is d d question number 6 anita mathematics test had 70 problem carrying equal marks 10 arithmetic 30 algebra 30 geometry Now here I have seen on social media there is a like jokes going on like here arithmetic geometry like where I am using in my job. I tell you where you will use this in your job. You will use this in teaching your kids. Usne badi koi job nahi hai. Use hoga ye. Aapke bachcho ko padhaunge aap 6, 7, 8 mein ye sab arithmetic algebra geometry and that is the biggest job you have. So you have to study this school during school days arithmetic algebra geometry and all to teach your kids actually anyways so 10 arithmetic 30 algebra 30 geometry although c answered 70 percent of arithmetic hanji 70 percent of arithmetic what is 70 percent of 10 i do direct calculation i will not say 70 percent of 10 70 upon 100 into 10 0 cancel 0 cancel 7 so 70 percent of 10 is 7 so c has solved 7 arithmetic question 40 percent of algebra 10 percent 3 so 40 percent will be 12 12 algebra 60 percent of geometry 10 percent 3 60 6 into 3 18 of geometry question so total 37 total 70 she did not pass the test because she got less than 60 percent so passing mark 60 so what is passing mark 60 percent of 70 60 upon 100 into 70 0 cancel 0 cancel 42 she actually has to answer 42 correct but she has answered only 37 the number of more questions she would have to answer correctly to earn a 60 percent passing marks five so there is a difference of five c has to answer five extra question so answer b question number six answer b i repeat there were total 70 problem 10 arithmetic 30 algebra 30 geometry 70 percent correct of this arithmetic seven and here this is 40 percent of algebra 40 percent of 30 is 12 and 60 percent of geometry 60 percent of 30 is 18 so 37 but actually she needs 60 percent of 70 which is 42 gap is 5 b is the answer question number seven the monthly average salary paid to all the employee of a company was rupees 5000 i use algebra sorry not algebra i will use allegation actually male and female employee was rupees 5200 and 4200 which is against our dpsp there has to be equal basis for this okay that's why the company name is not given upsc question discrimination male 5200 female 4200 don't know the reason why overall 5000 the percentage of male employed in the company allegation allegation 5200 minus 5200 i write here otherwise you will ask me how come this 200 is coming jada me se come value minus come here 5000 minus 4200 is 800 5000 minus 4200 so number of male 800 200 ratio we have to see male is to female ratio is 800 is to 200 is 4 is to 1 total 5 so male 4 by 5 female 1 by 5 4 by 5 80 percent 1 by 5 20 percent so number of male 80 percent in that company percentage of male so answer b question number 7 answer b i repeat overall salary 5000 5200 4200 so allegation 200 800 ratio 4 is to 1 total 5 4 plus 1 5 so male 4 by 5 female 1 by 5 80 percent male 20 percent female 80 percent question number 8 
टू नंबर एक्स एंड वाई आर रिस्पेक्टिवली ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट लेस देन दर्ड जेड वी हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन एंड आई टोल्ड यू डोंट एज्यूम फर्स्ट नंबर एज हंड्रेड के एक्स यू डोंट एज्यूम See, already number is given x. What happened? You assume let third number is x. So you get confused. Which x? This x, this x, or somebody's x? Okay. So x ke chakkar mein mani padna hai. X is confusing actually. As compared to third number, third number, first two number are based on the third number. I assume let z is hundred. So x is twenty percent less. So hundred minus twenty, it is eighty. and y is 28% less 100 minus 28 it is 72 and the z is 100 you get three number whatever question is asked we can solve why what percent is the number y is less than number x in term of percentage so 72 is how much percent is less than 80 difference upon reference into 100% then 80 okay y less than y less than x so it is x it is y then 80 So it is difference is eight out of eighty into hundred percent or one by ten. One by ten is ten percent. Question number eight answer is ten percent. Seventy two is eight percent less than eighty. Yes. Sorry, seventy two is ten percent less than eighty. My fault. Seventy two is ten percent less than eighty. Ten percent. Ten percent is the answer. 